please press the bell icon when you subscribe. The image shows how to do it for desktop and mobile. Thank you. Is it done, Dr. Reed? Is Aloysius Dawson reborn? As expected. I'm afraid Mr. Dawson finally chose to embrace life and death as a mortal. What do you mean? He has overcome his fear of dying. I let him rest and wait for death to come. What? This is unacceptable. Go back there and make him the powerful Econ he's destined to be. No, Lord Redgrave. As a doctor and as an immortal, I can't. If you wish to make him your progeny, then proceed on your own. This is an outrage beyond words. This is betrayal, pure and simple. I should kill you on the spot. You swore on William Marshall's blood. Well, get rid of me then. From now on, you're an outcast. Banished. You are forbidden to ever appear in front of us again. Ascalon will smite you on sight and your heart will be thrown to the rats. I'll leave you then. Have fun with your puppets and shadow plays, Lord Redgrave. Yes, go, traitor, and take that awful creature, that counterfeit of a woman I saw waiting for you, and be gone! Step away, traitor. Return to your dubious friends and your decrepit hospital. Do not dare show yourself again, you or that monstrosity you bring to my door. Step away, traitor. Return to your dubious friends and your decrep- We meet again at the strangest of times, young Econ. So do you serve the Earl of Bristol now? Old Bridget? What are you doing here? Your friend, the wise Econ. She sent me to warn you. Did anyone see you? It's a long way from the dock sewers, and hunters are patrolling the streets here. Who said I took the streets? How do you think I survived for centuries in this city without ever being seen? I know all her secrets. How did you meet Lady Ashbury? She came to us in the sewers in search of answers. Just as you did. What kind of answers did you give her? I knew nothing of your maker, but we talked. We talked a lot. Her words and ideas are captivating. It is no surprise that you like her. I like her too. Lady Ashbury in the sewers? Now that's a sight I wish I'd seen. She said she was your friend, and that she sought the identity of your maker. So I answered her questions. Lady Ashbury? You know her? Tell me what's going on. The lady approached me but a few nights ago, wanting to meet the Sewer Skulls. Once she questioned Harriet Jones, she agreed to help us. Harriet Jones is still with you then? How is she doing? Harriet remains angry, but is recovering slowly. Her mind is twisted, but at least her body is healing. Tell me what is going on. The lady asked us to keep an eye on your mortal doctor friend while you were away. We spotted the Hunters. They were discussing plans to attack tonight. Wait! Slow down! I need to ask you something. I'm listening, but I do not have time to waste, so be quick. Where is Lady Ashbury right now? She said she will go home. She needed to speak with some old friends first, though. Do not worry, young Econ. She is no fool and just as strong as you. Why do I feel like Lord Redgrave was particularly irritated to see you? Far more so than the average Skull, if I may say. Because I used to know him quite well. 
And he is afraid I may remember who he really is. You're Elizabeth's informant. You're the one who told her about Lord Redgrave's lies regarding his lineage. Yes, but my words were not meant to hurt or threaten. I simply told the story of the Sewer Skulls, and of so many other forgotten children. How did Elizabeth find you? She presented herself humbly at our gate, and asked if we knew of any ancestral vampires hiding in London. She asked about Ascalon. She asked about many things. What do you think of her? Her soul is good, yet tainted with a deep sadness and the scars of ancient wounds. Time does that to us immortals, for we have so much to dwell upon. Why did she come to you? I am old Bridget, the buried memory of the city. She sought the silent truths, truths I have kept hidden for so long. No time to lose, then. I must go there right away. I shall return to my den. Have you a message for the lady? Should I see her before you? Tell her we need to talk. In the end, is this not what we all need? Go now and take care, young Ekon, for the flames are rising. Is it true you were dropped in rank? Tell me about it. Yes, it is. I made a terrible mistake. I deserved it. Sometimes I think I should have resigned. So why are you still working here? Because I'm a damn fine copper. I just don't want to have someone innocent hung again by mistake because of me. death penalty is a great shame. I agree. I'm convinced all civilized nations should abolish the death penalty. Maybe after the war, once that bloodshed is over, the survivors will change that. Why do you think there shouldn't be a death penalty? I believe no one should decide to take a man's life. Not a nation or a government. Are you a pacifist, Inspector? No, sir. But I believe in divine justice. Only God has the right to decide who will live and who must die. Goodbye, Detective Inspector Albright. Goodbye. Good evening. Hmm. Goodbye, Mr. Bacon. It seems violence and madness are contagious.
Interfere with my hunt! I will return later. It's locked, all right. Cannot enter. Sure, see them standing close. Eyes. This one's in the top.
It's locked, all right. It's locked. It's locked, all right. I cannot enter.
traitor. What is this truck? It's Other an vampire hunters are there already. Stop! Lively! He's on to us! Those bastards. What have they done to Edgar? Looks like he's wounded. I better follow the blood. McCullum and his thugs are taking the credit for Edgar's abduction. They really mean business. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon at the Pembroke Hospital. And who are you? Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. I beg your pardon? What are you begging for, mortal? My clemency. Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me mortal. Why is that? And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, Dr. Reed, if you must know, And why do you believe you're a vampire? I don't need to believe anything. It is what I am. It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. Please, describe to me how you feel. What is it like to be a vampire? I can hear my body crumble from the inside as my flesh cracks and fades. I sense the last pulse of postulant blood within my drying veins. I need new blood. I see. Have you ever heard of Cotard Syndrome, Miss Howcroft? Never. It's a mental illness discovered by a French neurologist named Jules Cotard. The affected patients are delusional. They believe that they are putrefying, that they are dead, a, a ghost or a ghoul, or in your case, a vampire. Delusional, you say? Oh, sad and petty mortal. You can't even begin to understand the concept of immortality. And you think it is I who am delusional. I'm assuming you must be a patient here. Am I right, Miss Howcroft? It's only a cover. To hide from my enemies. I can leave whenever I want. As a woman, a, a spirit, fog, or bat. Who are these enemies you mentioned? Can you describe them? I cannot say for sure. But I sense their eyes on me from nearby. I, I, I feel them watching me every time I visit the garden near the morgue. The staff here are not your enemy. They're here to help you, to care for you. I'm not speaking of the doctors in white. I'm speaking of the men and women who hunt me. For I am a vampire! I see. Don't worry. These people will not find you here. I'll personally make sure they leave you alone. Thank you, mortal, but do not interfere with them, for you are no match for those that hunt me. Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? I mean, apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough for you, puny mortal? What do you require, hmm? 
Proof of my powers? I'm curious to know who you were before becoming a vampire. No, it was such a long time ago, I don't remember. Centuries of unholy life can have strange effects on one's minds, you see? Are you all right? I heard the hospital was attacked. They were vampire hunters, and they were looking for me. Bless poor Dr. Swansea, they beat him, but he didn't say a word about me. They hurt him, you say? Yes, I hide in the shadows, but I've heard them. What did they want? They wanted Dr. Swansea to confess his guilt and admit to relations with blood drinkers. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. Time has lost its effect on me. But the suffering continues. Say her again. The giant morgue disguise. Good evening, sir. Can I help you? Unless you're here to fix my face. No. I don't think you can help me. I'm Dr. Reed. I've recently taken the position of head surgeon here. War injuries, am I right? You guessed right, Doctor. German shell took my pretty little mug right off. But they still call me Thomas Elwood. How is your stay with us, Mr. Elwood? Oh, it's bliss. I just escaped death in the trenches to be surrounded again by the moans of the dying. Can I ask you precisely why you're a patient here? It's the pain, sir. The drugs don't work. It just hurts under the scars, if you get my drift. Can I do anything for your pain? Nurses gave me a bunch of pills. No effect. Told you. It's like the flames are under my skin, burning away. Who is treating you? Is someone in particular looking after your case? Nobody since the old and tired doctor spoke to me. Started to think I was forgotten about. Wouldn't blame you. You don't seem worried by that. My face hurts so much more when I smile or cry. I've learned it's easier not to speak. But be assured I'm smiling inside. Why do you feel responsible for the injury, Thomas? What really happened? I wasn't disfigured by any German shells. It happened during my leave. It was an accident. Why lie about it? Come on. It's one thing to come back disfigured by the Germans, and it's another to get injured in an accident that could have happened to anybody. Reconstructive surgery has been very successful for some soldiers. I don't want to wear a bloody mask for the rest of my life. I'd rather stay here. Just be forgotten. Tell me what really happened then. I went with a whore in Rouen. Dead drunk I was. The hotel was a shithole. There was a fire that night. Did you start the fire? Were you trying to avoid going back to the front? That's not uncommon, you know. No. It's just that I was asleep when the flames reached the room. The girl was long gone. Bitch never woke me up. Left me to burn. How close are you to Miss Hawcroft? Are you aware that she thinks she is a vampire? To wait for her next nibble is the best reason to stay here. Every time she approaches my bed, she treats me like something tasty. A normal person. Aren't you afraid? She may hurt you if the game goes too far. She's quite harmless, I can assure you. Her head's broken inside, is all. My arm busted on the outside. But she's still beautiful. Living proof that there's hope for me. So do you let her bite you? You know that's not sanitary. And why not? She's only supping a few drops of me blood. And the pain, it's real for once. She could decide to bite less willing 
patience. Then it's another good reason for me to stay here, Doctor. You do realize she's mentally disturbed. It's called the Kotar Syndrome. She truly believes she's a vampire. In her madness, she never refers to my scars. And frankly, if I could, I'd join her world. It seems much more fun than the real one. Where were you stationed, sir? Did you surf for long? I really don't want to talk about all this shit. No offense. I was pushing too much. I served in France myself. I just wanted to know what happened to you. You were an officer, weren't you? Then I doubt we fought the same war, sir. No offense. Are you all right? I heard the hospital was attacked. Yeah. I heard them. At least ten men and women. None of them sounded too happy, you know. When fear turns to anger. Reminded me of being back in the trenches. What did they do? They went upstairs and arrested Dr. Swansea. They argued for a few seconds and then... There was just this awful silence. Goodbye for now, mister. Fear and disgust on every street corner. Good evening, please. Tell me, Thelma, why do you feel so attached to Mr. Elwood? Why him? I'm... I, I'm not sure, Doctor. I think we have a bond of some sort. We've both suffered so much. He's the only mortal I... I find interesting. Do you plan to make him a vampire too? Of course not! How could I inflict my curse on anybody else? I'm not that cruel, Doctor. Would you say you and Mr. Elwood are romantically involved? No. No, Thomas is a delicate soul even though he disguises it. But I am not the woman he needs. <laughs> no, for I am a vampire, Doctor. I'll leave you. Time has lost its effect on me. But the suffering continues. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening. Are you all right? I heard the hospital was attacked. Poor Dr. Swansea. He was the only one to stand up to those brutes. And now they've dealt with him. Where is Dr. Swansea? I don't know. I hid behind a tent. I saw nothing. 